Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope that you feel right at home as each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. Please join me in supporting them so that we can grow the community together. Game Dev Journey. Soft Pretzel Games had to make a radar for his game and so once he had figured out how to do it, he thought he would share what he had discovered with the rest of us by making a tutorial. This is really what makes the Godot community so great. It's the way that we all try to lift each other higher. Thank you to Soft Pretzel for sharing. Make sure to watch the full video on their channel and check out all the other useful videos which they have. Nathan Hode is another awesome Godot game dev who's giving back to the community. And this time he's sharing how he made speech balloons for the adventure game which he's building in Godot 4. This is an amazing guide which will get you started with getting speech bubbles working in your own game. So be sure to watch the full video on Nathan's channel and subscribe for more great guides like this. Fun Nuba Codes is sharing an overlooked feature of Godot that can save you a lot of time. Config files make the saving and loading of data in Godot so much easier. Config files are easy to implement into any Godot project and can completely replace JSON files because of just how versatile they are. If you want to learn more, head over to Fun Nuba's channel. It's great to see people learning to use the Godot engine, but learning in a way that helps us to learn too. That's what Alfredo is doing and this week he's shared what he has learned about menu interfaces, saving and loading, as well as simple multiplayer. Alfredo is on a journey to become a self-taught game developer and if you want to go along for the ride, be sure to subscribe to Alfredo on his channel. Godot 4 is certainly packed with new features and one of them is Movie Maker. This allows you to take any of the animations from your game and turn it into a cinematic of sorts. Chao Sai has a video out demonstrating how to do just this. It's an extremely concise video and you won't believe how easy Godot has made this. Head over there and watch the full video for more. Kriggs vs Game Dev has quickly become one of my favorite Godot tutorial makers and his latest video explaining how to make things float in Godot 4 is really worth viewing. In it, Kriggs shows you how to apply buoyancy forces to rigid bodies that synchronize with vertex shaders. This all comes together to create a really nice floating effect in water. So check it out, this is awesome stuff. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you.